Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to PXP Park. The New York Knights are taking on the Chicago Cubs. I'm about to finish this game and about to finish off now, the American League East. Team Sean. Affinity for Green Season right 3. Bottom of the 8th inning so here. The Knights have an 11-4 lead. This uh, American League East lineup doesn't really put a lot of runs on the board. Right, and that should be extra bases. Around first, 11 runs, uh, you're thinking 11 runs is a lot, but it's a normally here at PXP Park, and put up 20 to, stand in. to 30 runs very deep, per game. Anything over their heads. But the American League East doesn't really seem to hit that it's mark. A and a drive. Bellinger drop step going back. Oh, yeah. Another home run by Luke Voigt. He's done it again. His that makes it 13 to 4. Charlie Morton's on the mound. Lead. It's 13 4. For the Knights. He Here's really has not had his best outing here Line today. In the left center, base hit. Four runs against his last couple of outings. He had shutouts here at PXP Park, well, and that's why it's called quickly. PXP no Park. Right it there. is a, swings, it the smallest like field you can have that's online up. friendly. This ball is hammered. And the Deep ball just field. flies Way out of here. I have it set for 5,200 feet. That's his <laughs> the maximum. Run of the game. And, they tack on to their and of course, now we're starting to put a bunch of runs up. Michael Rucker. But it's being right. eased into the game here with the bases empty. Wisdom drifts towards but the PXP really adds up quickly here. Down. Again, it's At called PXP Park. With this kind of and lead, he can swing freely. with the PXP earned from this game, the team building, the bosses, the right side. And it gets by pretty him. sure that the American League East team affinity will be finished at the conclusion of this game. Jim Rice is 0 for 4. You'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Rice, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. He's got five homers, eight Still RBIs. One out here in the inning. On the ground the first, and he grabs it in I love this stadium. Ground. It's got five Check levels the of seating. There. There's seats up on top of the stone wall out there in right field. There may be six levels of seating. I can't remember. Next pitch has popped up. And Jim Rice is going to drop that and one down the fair. left field line. Beautifully placed. So first and second, now one out. Two consecutive base Number hits for Number these guys three. here. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled three. off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. And here is you don't even want to swing at pitches in that location, really. Ruth goes deep, and second five. deck. That was a Six moon second of the year for me, Ruth. It's 18 to four. And Julian yes, the Knights are really opening it up here. Seven He's runs. Gonna be a little tough coming in out of the pit. Yeah, the bottom of the eighth inning. Trailing so big on the scoreboard. Aaron Judge has a home run. Same intensity to it, but earlier this evening is 11. Count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And a ball in two strikes. Got him swinging. What are you swinging at, man? Come on. The right fielder, two 15. outs, base is empty. Sean. And now, Sean Green. Green. Green's two for four with a double, a single, and an RBI. This right place side. is doubles haven. And it finds its way through for a hit. Home runs two with the short porches. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something. As I said, the fence right is as low as it can be. Defense, and it's in no as close as it can be. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Line drive. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Seven runs that inning. Eight complete. Knights lead the Cubs eight. 
Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Charlie Morton is at 89 pitches here in the ninth inning. Energy is still good. And the pitch. Like I said, this, not, this is not his best outing and that gets the inside corner in recent drive. memory, but he's got plenty of run support. And a pop-off right side, foul territory. Green makes the grab on the run. And since now he is a boss, Christopher Morell. we got Jonathan Scope, Jim Rice, Gary Sanchez, and Charlie Morton as the bosses for strike one. in action for the American League East. So between the four of them, they get a lot of and there's a PXP ball. per game, <clears throat> normally hitting that repeatable 1,000 mark per game. Morton can get eight or 900 by himself. He has a good game. 19 strikeouts. Means he'll uh, have a good PSP game here. First pitch just misses. Two outs. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You know, kid, Very really well, might be. And Got him. Strikes. Nice win. And that'll do it. Well, what a gutsy performance. He saved the bullpen. Gave him the day off. He wasn't super dominant, but he, he saved the day. To pitch. And when guys don't have their best stuff, inning after inning, throughout an entire So Jonathan game, Scope, one of the bosses, four for five, three homers, five RBIs. Exactly he scored four runs. This win today. So Gary this one Sanchez, another one of the bosses, three for five with a homer, a double, an RBI, three runs scored. Charlie Morton, complete game, four hitter. All four hits were solo home runs. He struck out 20. And the Knights blast the Cubs 18 to four. That should be enough to finish off the American League East. We'll find out here momentarily. Charlie Morton gets the win. He's 9-1 and one now on the season. His ERA is 2.68. <clears throat> we'll find out here. Oh, Charlie gets uh, up to level 4 on the 104th person to get Charlie Morton up to level 4. He's a 99 overall. And let's see. I think that may be it. AL All-Star, AL East. Five packs of crap. I think that's it. Nothing else here. Let's see. That is, indeed, it is done. The AL East has been completed. Very good. We got uh, Jonathan Scope is 200 of 200 PXP. We got the repeatable, and we got uh, team, uh, team building mode with the Rays finished as well. So very good. Take a look. Uh, programs is what you want. Team up there, it was right there. Team Affinity AL East is complete. There it is, right there, and that's what it was. That's the boss pack to finish it off with the five packs of crap. So very good. So let's see, all of the moments were completed. The team builds, they're repeatable. Those are very nice. Captain Stat Missions, those were all finished. The classics, those were all finished. The boss missions, like I said, this one, beautiful. It's repeatable, and when you get everybody in your lineup, you're getting especially a pitcher. You want to get a starting pitcher. It sucks when they don't have one. But even a reliever, you can pitch a complete game with, and you'll get the 1,000 PXP per game. And since it's repeatable, it's 5,000 points a pop. Those add up quickly. And... Uh, Troy Glaus, I just got the pack to choose him, so he's the only one not completed. Uh, many seasons I didn't do. Exchanges I didn't do. The collection has 29. I uh, did not finish this, but we'll be able to add some more guys to it. I didn't do the showdown. I did do the conquest. 30,000 for that, so that's nice. You want to jump on that. And the March to October I did not do. But there is the American League East. Team Affinity Season 3. It is complete. So now I have the AL East and the AL West completed. Not really sure which one I'm going to work on next. Um, I'll decide that later on today. So thanks for joining me. The AL East Team Affinity Season 3 
has been completed. Have a great day.